Welcome to Design by Geeks and Rissa Rocks It. Today we'll be making these rolled paper flowers. There are a few different petal shapes, so I'll be putting the link to the SVG files in the video description for you. I've also done a two color effect on these flowers, and I'll be showing you how to do that. Or you can skip that part of the video if you just want to do a single color flower like these. Start by cutting out your flower on your machine. You don't want to use a paper that's too thick to roll nicely. I like to use either a very lightweight cardstock or a sturdier copy weight paper. And if you're not going to do the two color effect, go ahead and skip ahead forward in the video to the time I have up on the screen. For those who have stayed with me and want to try the two color effect, you'll need a few extra supplies. First, you're gonna to wanna to have a stamp pad or ink pad in the color that you want and something to stamp on. So something like a sponge or I have this little kind of sponge on a handle. You'll also want to protect your work area, which is why I have this newspaper laid out. And then you'll need a sheet of scrap paper. So here I have my cutout flower shape and I've got a scrap paper because I'm gonna use this to protect the other areas that I don't want stamped. So I'm gonna start by stamping the center of the flower. So I'm taking my little sponge. And then after I stamp the center of the spiral, I'm just gonna stamp along the edge of the petals. And that's where you're gonna use your paper to protect the parts that you aren't currently stamping. You'll just move the paper around to kind of protect the other parts. Once you've made your way all the way around, just let that dry for a few minutes. To roll the flower, you're going to want a narrow tool that can hold the paper. I'm using what's called a quilling tool. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little tiny slit at the top that can hold the paper. This is what I recommend using because it's really the easiest tool to use, but you can also use something like a small pair of tweezers or a very small pair of needle nose pliers. Before you start rolling, you also want to preheat your glue gun because you're going to need that once you're done rolling your flower and it actually comes together pretty quickly. So you're going to start with the outside edge of the spiral and you're going to tightly roll it around the tool. Now if you colored your flower, you get to decide if you want the color on the inside or on the outside of the spiral. I'm going to do it on the inside of the spiral, but you can do whatever you think will look nice. And feel free to experiment too. So I'm just using the quilling tool. I'm inserting the paper into that little slot. It's kind of small and it's hard for me to see when I'm doing it for the camera, but there we go. So I have the paper inserted and I'm just gonna start rolling it tightly. And as you're rolling it, you're gonna wanna keep this flat edge aligned at the bottom as best as you can.
then you just keep rolling until you get to that center circle. The center circle is going to be the bottom flap of your flower. And once you get to the end, you might want to fold the center circle back just to keep it out of the way for the next steps. Now you're going to take the flower off of your tool. Sorry about that, I had a bit of a camera issue so I had to start a new flower. But anyway, after you pull it off of the tool, you're going to let it bloom however much you want. And then once it kind of looks where you like it, you're going to flip it over and on the back side you're going to place a generous amount of glue. And don't worry about it looking pretty, it's going to get covered up. You just want to try and keep the shape together as much as you can. Be really careful, don't burn your fingers. And then you're going to fold that little bottom flap down to kind of hold everything in place. You can just kind of squish it down so that the glue makes contact to the back of the petals and that little flap. And after the glue is dry, if your little flap is bigger than the bloom of your flower, you can just trim off the excess if you want. Here's the flower that I had made before, before my video cut out. And you can see I trimmed down the back a little bit. I'm going to do the same with this one. Whether or not you have any extra flap or how much extra flap you have just really depends on how much you wanted to let your flower bloom. And then if you like, you can fold back some of the petals, kind of play with it until you get the shape that you want. So here's one that's just a single color. Here's the one that I stamped. This is a different petal shape. And these two actually started out the exact same size. So you can see how you can get kind of different size flowers just depending on how much you want to let them bloom. And that's it. Ta-da! Thanks so much for watching. We hope you liked this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.